Sagittarius, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome. Uh, my name is Michelle. Welcome to my channel. Uh, please do click subscribe and help the channel grow. And if you really like this video, then like this video and share and distribute it on other platforms because that helps the channel grow too. Really grateful for that. Sagittarius, let's get into your reading. We're going to pull full oracle card spread. This is for Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, or wherever Sagittarius energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next week, week and a half or so uh, from whenever you see this video, right? The timing is always right. You hear this message when you need it. Libra, let's get into your reading. Uh, not Libra, but I'll tell you why I mentioned Libra. And that's not a mistake. And I know I'm not, I'm not just trying to cover myself up. You and your energy came out big time. Sagittarius energy was all over the Libra reading. So go look at the Libra reading because your reading was, I don't know if you're dealing with a Sagittarius or you're just looking for balance in your life and stability or if Libra is somehow influencing you and affecting you. But that energy, you were all over Libra's energy. All over that. I don't know if you're all over a Libra, but you was all over Libra's energy. That's all I'm trying to say. So Sagittarius, Sagittarius, remember there's always an extended um, reading after this video. If you'd like an, an articulated and extended um, reading, please go the, click the link below that's in the description box. It's also in the comment section too. And you'll, you'll, you'll be taken right over. It includes a romance reading as well. So, all right, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, okay. Crowning your energy, Sagittarius, is magic works through you. Five plus two equals seven. You're working on something and you're creating something. This is Cancerian energy, which means it's cardinal energy. It's also emotional energy, which is good. It's good to work in emotion, something that means a lot to you. You're working on a project or you're working on, you're working on something that means a great deal to you. This could also be parenting, Sagittarius. It could have to do with you nurturing somebody, you caring for somebody, you helping manifest them, you helping them to be the best of themselves or really believing in them, nurturing them back to health or nurturing them to the best version of themselves. That's Cardinal Cancerian energy and that's what's crowning your energy. Could also be your mother. If you're dealing with a mother, dealing with a mommy issues, not mommy issues, this would be somebody helping you like, like a mother, giving you resources or providing for you when you need it most. Um, ooh, okay, that's really interesting to come up there. Uh, something happening with creation, creation, creation of something new, creation of an idea, manifesting an idea into reality. That's what cardinal energy does. And you are a mutable energy, but you're calling on this maternal cardinal energy. You could be calling on it because you need help. You could be calling somebody for help or somebody could be calling you for help because the magic is working through you, Sagittarius, this week. So that means that you are the help. You are the person that's making all the difference. Um, okay. Uh, so the cards continue to fall out. I want to get this whole story because I've seen a, a little previews of the cards that are flipping over. I want to get this whole story. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Cutting in front. You have a lot of reversed energy. So um, trust in the magic. This is an opportunity that didn't take wing. This is something that didn't that didn't happen the way that you planned or the way that you wanted to wanted it to happen. This is feeling trapped or feeling like you're hopeless or helpless, uh, feeling helpless. This is a turtle energy, slow and steady wins the race, but something's picking up now. Um, it's almost like something that you were denied is now picking up or you're trying to find ways to move away from a new beginning that you were supposed to have that you did not get. And then time for a deep dive, um, but it's also in reverse. So something that has to do with love, love and romance. This is my La Vie en Rose card. This is also Libra 
energy. This could be a romance that never took off. This could be a romance that's on the rocks or having trouble because there's essentially um, a feelings of anxiety, feelings of it itchiness, itchiness under the skin, something maybe getting in the way or impeding the romance, um, which is why you, that crowning energy is really, it could be something that you're working on or somebody that you're helping um, is is getting in the way of your your um your romantic life oh um turtle energy is cancerian energy as well major cancerian energy you could be very concerned for a child right now a child that you feel like is going down a path that is wrong or that is headed into um a path that you can't influence as much as you'd like um, it could also be the stress of, of having a child taken from you or a child disobeying or being rebellious. Something that has to do with um, trust in the magic. You're not. You don't trust. You're scared. You're really worried. This also could have to do with a relationship because this is the energy of 6-6 six, six, and this is 6, so 6-6-6. Six, six, six. That's the energy of... Um, there's an imbalance somehow in your life, especially when it comes to your emotions of feeling stuck and feeling trapped or feeling like you're pushing against the tide and you're working too hard for something that doesn't seem to be working as hard for you. Uh, take time out. You're irritable as heck, Sagittarius. This is the feeling of being very defensive, very pop-offish, grizzly bear, but this is once again, mama bear energy. And you know what? This played a big role in Libra's reading as well. So if you're dealing with a Libra, I don't know if your parent is a Libra. It could, it, it just feels like everything is attacking you right now. It could feel like you're up against like a rock in a hard place, or you're, like I said, you're pushing against the tides. A lot of irritability right now, carrying a lot of burdens on your back and just wanting to rip people's heads off, but being very, very defensive and protected. So you're also very concerned. You could be very concerned about a parent or a child that's giving you, causing you heartache or causing you worry, basically because you don't feel like you can control or um, not just control, but you, you don't feel like you can help the situation. You don't really know what to do, um, um, but you're trying to almost like protect them. This is more energy of you are never alone. Uh, energy of love and your heart space and being tr truly, truly in love, maybe getting a lot of support from home or being really concerned. This could also be medicine and medical. So um, think about heart smart. Somebody you know could be going through some medical issues as, as well. And once again, there's this energy of the bear or the healing, the medicine man, the shaman coming in. Um, you may not, you may not be happy right now with the medical um, medical treatments that somebody is getting or, um, uh, yeah, yeah. You may not really trust the people that are, that are there to take care of them. You could also be somebody's advocate right now. That's kind of like that energy that I'm getting. Um, think on your feet. This is you. This is you rolling with the punches. This is you dealing in the chaos, reveling in the chaos, rolling in the chaos, having to somehow make sense out of this chaos, your energy in your own reading, seven plus two, that's the energy of nine, which is something is coming to a head. And it's almost like you're, you're having to dodge so many freaking curveballs. Um, right now that you don't have time to think into the future like you'd want to. You don't have to, time to prep or prepare. Um, this is being very agile and being prepared for anything. You know, that, that's, that's kind of what you are right now, having to be prepared for everything. Sweet results await. Um, this is Leo energy. So you have a diminished sense of self. Uh, you're not diminished sense of self, but like um, you're drained. Something is really draining on you and pulling on you. Because um, I feel like you're the one that's expected to do a lot. You've been having to basically run an obstacle course by yourself. So it's number one, it's draining your energy. But this is also the energy of seven as well. So you're right in the, the midst of transition and change okay this is also the energy of seven so you could be changing yourself or changing what you care about or change once again is working through you so you're advocating for somebody else and it's really taking a lot out of you sagittarius this is complementary energy but it's also draining energy it's leo energy it's not a bad energy when it's in reverse sweet results do await but this is like you don't have the honey yet 
you're still working on the honey. Um, that's the energy is, is you're right in the midst of doing the hard work and this is going to yield wonderful results, but ultimately you're still in the middle of like this chaotic craziness. Um, almost feeling like people are pulling strings or things are running you. And yet somehow you have, you're the one that everybody is expecting things from. Oh boy. Uh, trust the great mystery. Just dive in. This is the card of awakening. Um, six plus five is the energy of 11. So you're just starting to realize things. You're just starting to see things. You're getting all of these challenges for the reason of learning and understanding things more deeply in a way that you never really understood them before. Gaining insight into a perspective that you had no insight into before. You didn't realize things could be this rough and now you're seeing the other side of things. Um, it's almost like you're seeing the other side of hard work. Maybe you in, the, in, in your early life had always seen the sweet results of work. You've always gotten the honey. And now you're seeing where the honey comes from. And it's not as fun. Um, overcome any obstacle. This is once again transitional, but also supportive in that you will get through this. You will have the resources that you need, the material resources. This is Taurus energy. So especially like the finances, you'll have the finances that you need. You may have to dig deep to find them, but you will find them and it will come through. But this is the energy of once again, Cancerian energy is coming through really big time for you. Um, you. In other words, this is telling me you'll be able to hold on to something instead of having to let it go. You'll be able, you won't be, you won't have to lose it. You could be struggling right now to keep your house. You could be defending or trying to protect, maybe keeping one of your children in a custody battle. This is the energy of you're going to get through this. You're struggling really hard right now. But the work that you're doing is going to pay off because you're not going to have to let go. This is usually the ener a, a backwards energy, an energy that I don't like because it's like holding on to something. But for me, in in the in the okay, hold on. Let me let me flip the camera around so I can actually show you what I'm looking at. Hold on. So here's the energy that I'm looking at. Here here's the cards. Diving deep down and finding the strength and finding the fortitude, but also finding the financial resources to not have to let go of something, to be able to maintain and hold on to something. And this is your grounding energy. So this is telling me that all of this chaos and all of this craziness, and you may fear losing something, but you're not going to have to lose it. You're actually going to find a way by fighting your butt off, either as an advocate for somebody else or as an advocate for your own goals and dreams, working your butt off is going to help you maintain whatever it is you are, you don't want to lose. And it's not about being afraid to lose it. It's about defending it like a mama bear. This is about the home and the heart space, Sagittarius. This is about like fourth house stuff which is domesticity, your house, your family, holding on to it or holding it together it, when it's being threatened somehow. This could also be a relationship that you're trying to work through and trying to hold on to because you don't want to let it go. This is that Cancerian energy of not wanting to let something go. Cancerians are very insistent of not wanting to let something go. Um, um, not, not allow, like holding... Cancerians always hold on too long, <laughs> but for you, cause you're present here too. Hello. This is, this is you uh, tapping into an energy that normally you don't have, which is to hold on to something. This is something that you don't want to let go of, that you're absolutely refusing to let go of. And it means so much to you, but you're, you're really drained. It's draining all of your energy, but you don't care. Like I said, this could be a custody battle that you're fighting. You will grounding your energy is this insistence, almost the stubbornness. Think of uh, Taurus energy. It's almost the stubbornness. It means too much to me for me to let it go. And I refuse. I refuse to let this go. It could be, like I said, somebody that you're trying to heal, somebody that you're trying to protect, somebody that you're advocating for, but it, you, you have this stubbornness. And, and honestly, you're right in the middle of this, re, this manifestation period. Pisces will listen to you. 
if you insist on not letting this go and you insist on it staying with you, this is what you're going to manifest. But oh my God, you're going to have to work your butt off. Use this fire energy to wield it, to mold it. Use your fire energy to make it happen. This is manifesting. Choosing what the future is going to be by the hard work that you do today and the universe is watching and it will respond you have a really good chance of being able to hold on to something but right now this is just you insisting and refusing to let go good on you this is this is like powerful energy for you it's tapping into a different energy source that i don't think that you're very familiar with um um, but let's see what the outcome is. Let's see how this works out. I'll see you over in the extended. We're going to pull a full tarot spread and I'll also include a romance reading over there as well, Sag. See you over there.